Hi everyone, so I'm back. Um, I know I haven't been putting any videos lately, um, but I don't know, my mojo hasn't been quite there. Um, I actually forced myself to create a couple of cards a few days ago, so I wanted to show them to you guys. Um, I have been shopping a lot though. <laughs> But um, so yeah, I need to start using my stuff. But so let me show you really quick uh, some of the stamps that I use to create uh, my two cards. This is from Crafting Desert Divas. This is actually a new stamp company for me. Um, I kind of discovered this company like a month ago. And so I have been buying a couple of their stamps and I definitely had to get this one. This one is one of their new releases. I think this is from last month. Um, and oh my god, sorry for the glare there guys, but oh my god, it's so cute. It's called Treasure Trolls. Sorry guys, but it's so adorable. So look how cute are all these cute little trolls. Um, and you can see all the little gems. So you can see I've already kind of used uh, some of the stamps. It's so adorable. I love it. Um, I haven't seen the troll movie yet, I know, <laughs> but um, they kind of remind me of, because I saw the trailer and it looks, they look so similar, it looks so cute, but yeah, um, so I love, love, love this stamp set. So I use that one, and then I also use this other stamp here from Winnie and Walter, and there's just a lot of gems, so I thought I would use this also because these, um, this little stamp has like little gems also. So I thought I could combine that. So I, I used that one. Another um, stamp that I used is this one here. This is from Jane's Doodles. I got this one at the Not Too Shabby Shop. Um, and I used a little rainbow here for the card. Um, I also used um, these two dies. I used this um, stitch die and this cloud stitch die. And then I used... Um, this my favorite things um, paper here that it's so cute and I use this uh, glitzy from DCWV um, this is the glitter pastels so cute and I also use this my favorite things um, watercolor um, paper so this is the card guys and I think it's so adorable what do you think I think it turned out so so cute let me show it to you uh, closer there um, but oh my god I totally totally love this card so you can see there um, these are some of the images from the stamp and these are also some of the images and then you can see all the little gems there um, and these little gems come in this um, stamp set I um so you can see how I stamped on the glitter paper and made all those cute little gems. I thought that would be like so cute. There's the little rainbow and um I put the clouds and I I put them on foam tape here so so that you could have some, you know, like layer um like a 3D effect. So, I don't know, it looks so adorable and then the inside um it's just very simple, but I love it. I really, really love, love, love it. So let me know what you think. Um, and of course, I use my Spectrum Noir, um, uh, like crystal clear pen for all the glitter that you see. So it says, it's your birthday, time to sparkle. <laughs> so cute. So that was the first card I did, and I really, really love it. So now for the second card, let me show you what I used. Again, I used um, these two stamps here. And then I used, um, I used these um, sequins. And these are actually also from Crafting Desert Divas. They have a nice variety of sequins. Um, and so I use this one. This one is called Glimmering Gemstones. It's so cute. So I used that. I used some of these enamel dots. And I also used some of my um, Nouveau and some of my uh, mint uh, enamel dots. Um, I used this die here with this lace uh, from Gina Marie. And um, I use this paper here, and this is actually from a Christmas paper pack, but I use this one here, the polka dot. And 
So let me show you this card. So here's my next card. Sorry for the glare, guys. But I think it's so cute. Now let me tell you something. I made lots of boo-boos with this card. Okay, so the first boo-boo that I made was, so you see this stamp here. This stamp has these pretty sentiments here and then it has all these other ones. What you're supposed to do is you're supposed to combine these sentiments with these sentiments to make a phrase like you are my precious gem or you um, are uh, you look like a flawless gem or you are like a uh, you are I'm sorry you are like a flawless gem or you shine and sparkle like a gem like a precious gem something like that. And when I did this um, card, I thought that you were supposed to put these all these words together like a sentiment. So that's what I did. So I ended up saying, you precious flawless gem, which I don't know. It doesn't really make sense to me anymore, <laughs> you know, because I know now that you were supposed to combine and say, like, you are precious like a gem or something like that. It says you're precious flawless gem. I don't know. I don't know. So that was the first boo-boo. My second boo-boo was, or a second thing that I don't like how it turned out that much is that um, I, I, as you can see, I embossed this on the acetate. And my first thing that I wanted to do was I wanted to use Stazon, the black Stazon ink uh, for the end. I haven't done that, but I've seen people using the Stazon on acetate. And I have, uh, I have it. I just don't, I can't find my Stazon ink. So my second option was um, to um, emboss. And even though I think it looks pretty embossed, um, I don't like, like like it that much because it kind of warped a little bit. And sorry, I'm so sorry for the glare. Uh, it kind of warped a little bit, so my card is not as flat as I would like it to be. I don't know if you can see that, but it's not so flat. And then what um, my my third boo boo is or thing that I don't like is that when I use this dye, even though I think this dye is so pretty with like the lace, I feel that um, I should have um, I should have not used this dye because since it's kind of you know it's erased, I feel like it's just too um, exposed to being ripped, um, you know or damaged easily so I feel like this die would have been better if I just like put it like flat on the card um, but um, I mean I really like how the um, the card looks I just don't like some of the boo-boos I did on this card but um, I think it looks really pretty and then of course all the little gems inside so here you can see some of the gems I did on the glitter paper I think it looks so adorable and then here's the, my little girl that I colored, and she's so cute. Um, so overall, I do like the card. Um, I won't give this card to anyone because I just think this doesn't make that much sense. I don't know. But it was good practice because, like I said, I haven't been doing anything for a while. Um, but definitely this is my favorite. It's so cute. Let me know which one is your favorite. I really love them both. Just, um, I think if I recreate this card, I would change all those things that I told you. Definitely, yeah, change the sentiment because, yeah. And use my stays on ink. I don't think I will emboss ever on acetate. I just don't like how it starts warping. Um, but, yeah, let me know which one is your favorite. I had a lot of fun. Um, like I said, I have been purchasing a lot of things, so I need to start crafting so yeah guys so i guess i'll talk to you later and thank you so much for watching and take care bye